You know, the challenges I think have to do uh, with mis misinformation. But on the other hand, and I always like to focus on the positive, I think there are way more opportunities than threats nowadays in order to, to you know, to try to, to start a conversation about these issues. And one of the key, in, you know, key factors is what you said in your introduction of the, of the panel, Schumann. I am, in, in part, let's say, I have recognized the, 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 the huge impact, positive impact that these products have and, 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 and alternative nicotine products have thanks to the testimonies of, of former smokers who tried everything and they didn't succeed. And then they start vaping, for instance, and they, they start with other uh, alternative nicotine products and they do not touch a combustion cigarette ever again in their lives. So there are, of course, like in everything, there are challenges. We have been in contact with people who, let's say, are uh, way more challenged than us in the sense that they are the activists on the ground doing, doing the work. We, we work with a lot of uh, activist organizations. We have done a documentary about you know, activism in, in Latin America, by the way, called Behind the Cloud that you can find on our YouTube channel. It's just, you know, after the event, you can, you can watch a magnificent okay. documentary. It's, it's in Spanish, but it has subtitles in English. Um, but I think there are way more opportunities than, than, than challenges. 